Listen guys, I'm out here again, in the freaking woods, well, at the park, I wish I was in the woods, might go in the woods later, 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 maybe I'll take this Moto G 4 generation, Moto G 4 Plus, here with me, in the woods later, see how it does in the dark with the flash and with the night mode and all that, with that 16 megapixel camera with the laser autofocus and the phase detection autofocus, yeah, you got that nice fast focus, don't you, Moto G camera? Little microphone, awesome. I mean, the old mic here, noise canceling mic. Bottom, you got micro USB. The back comes off, that's why you put your SIM card. I'm using mine on Verizon, so for you guys are wondering how it works on Verizon, works perfect. I was on the call, I was getting internet, so you can call and stuff at the same time, it's already unlocked. Hotspot still works, so shh, don't tell anybody. Yeah, so there, that was the fingerprint sensor right there. Let me see. So, fingerprint sen sensor. And as you can see, the speaker hole, I mean, for the speakerphone, it's actually all in here. And it actually sounds pretty good, not that loud, but louder than most. So I, I say it's not that loud because I've been using the Moto X Pure Edition for a while, so really nothing is not nothing is close to that. So, but it sounds pretty good. I'll play something. Let's see. I guess I'll play the video I made. Not sure how this is gonna work. I'm gonna try to show you guys my uh, what's my Moto X Pure Edition while I'm out here in nature. Uh, as you can see, barefooted. I got no shirt on. Um, just kind of chilling out here. This is kind of weird. Yeah. It's like me watching so myself, watching X myself, watching edition. myself. Alright, anyways. Oh, there you go. Chip for the speaker up. quality. Yeah. You got to witness that little moment there. And here's my setup currently for the Moto G4 Plus. Got these little, um, I believe both of these are from a brand new uh, one I've started using. Shoot, I guess I can't click that one. This Zupa widget is called Osea. It's actually free, so and it has a whole bunch of crap. I mean, look at the search bar, it's pretty dope. And you can just make it do whatever you want. So I just have it to like it's quickly like it's a search, but I just scroll down and it's also Google Now. So quick way to get to Google Now since I'm using Nova Launcher and I don't have Google Now to the left. So that works out there. And it looks freaking dope and it matches. I like the white. And then I just like I just use this Pokemon as the icon just for shits and giggles and minion like that's that icon is perfect. So that icon pack is called Irmon or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, hold up. Let's see if I can This one. That one. Ermon, Ermoon, whatever. That's that's what the icons are. That's what so that's why I got the Pokeball. That's what I did with the minions. That's what I did with. Uh, this is Need for Speed, No Limits, Rayman. So it it changed a couple of things. Like what I did to Instagram right there. Twitter, Snapchat, Google Plus. I did that to it. See that Google Play Music. It's none of those like triangle things. It look. It's, I like them this way actually. But yeah, and I'll show you on the settings, right? So when you go under cellular networks, you got enhanced for GLT, it's on. Simpson Select is on, blah, blah, blah. And then I go tethering and more portable hotspot. If I just like tap it on, as you can see, I don't get a message, it's on. And you can also just turn it on right here and turn it off right there as well. So, boom. So, so far, so good. Um, I was using it, the phone, I was taking pictures. I would say do not take pictures in direct sunlight. Today it was about 92 here. I think, I, yeah, it was 92. And I was shooting, and when I was in direct sunlight, the camera started to get a little sluggish. Um, but I could still take pictures with it. Um, I used a different camera application, the camera MX. Because uh, I got a couple of different cameras here. I'll uh, show you. Got camera M MX. Um, yeah. And that one took more pictures. Uh, that one, but 
I believe only some of them can. So like, I wouldn't do it in direct sunlight, which you shouldn't do anyway. You don't want your you don't want your phone, your warm phone, to get in direct sunlight. Cause honestly, the S7 stutters camera when you're recording. Sometimes it happens. Like when you do the launch, it'll flicker. The Moto X does it. Not as much, but the Samsung does it way more. So it's not a surprise you got this phone, this phone at this price range, taking those nice pictures. Yeah, it's gonna get a little hot, but. It's fine. Just don't do anything stupid. Just don't, don't be out in the heat taking pictures with your hot phone. Yeah, just yeah, just, just do that. Yeah. Shout out to Vogos again. Nice, nice, nice shoes. Very comfortable. Feel nature at your feet. Um. Yeah. So other than that, let's see if I can get the focus back on the phone. There we go. And so just fo these are folders here. And yeah, and just like you saw, these are all folders. And like this goes to the Play Store, like always. And as you can see, yeah, the phone is actually pretty awesome. Feels pretty good. Um, I don't think anyone that sees me with with this phone would ever think they say like, oh, it's like a, a cheap phone or it's a mid-range phone or whatever. You know, they they'll see the screen. The screen is nice. They'll see me use my fingerprint inside to see how fast that is. You know. Like that's like literally instant, and it's always it's always good. You don't have to worry about it with the fingerprint sensor. It just works. Look at that. Look at that. It's off. Like most uh, most of the times, you have to turn it on first, or you have to push something down. Uh, but it's not a home button, and I've gotten used to that. But it did kind of wear me off. Like I would still touch here, but then I would feel the tip of this, so I feel like I touch this as well. So I thought, wait a second, did I try to touch that? So, but I got used to it. But it doesn't act as a home button, but. Like let's say you're on a full screen something and those buttons disappear, you tap that, uh, they show up. So once they go down again, tap that, they show up. So it's useful for that. That way you don't have to like, if you don't want to like swipe, you have something to type. I'm still used to swiping, but yeah, you get the point. But other than that, battery life is actually really really good. I've been using this one a lot today. Um, I haven't been able to use it from a full charge really re realistically just because I've been really just on it. It's not normal usage, you know, me like playing games and downloading a whole bunch of apps and yeah. And then of course here taking pictures and taking videos. Right now it's at full brightness, you know. But it's a nice freaking phone. I like it. I'm having a good time with it. Like, if you're not like a power user or you just, you know, even if you're a power user, you can still get away with this because... It all depends on how you're using. I mean, if you're a heavy, heavy power user, then no. But for most people, this phone at this price range, this one is a, just three hundred bucks, three hundred dollars, man. That's it for this phone. Nice, nice, nice looking phone. Fingerprint sensor, nice screen, good camera, good front camera too. You know, you get those motor gestures. Look at that! Look at that camera quality, guys. Look at that shit. Yeah, shit. Y'all seen that? Yeah, HDR. We do a lot of HDR around here. You see that? It's always got a good focus. Crisp. Crisp. Look at that. Look at that. That HDR effect though. This camera is awesome. So yes, at three hundred dollars you're getting a camera that does this. That's some good crap right here. Alright? I mean uh I mean dare I say this is already before I mean I've only had twenty four hours with it, so but this phone get it. Just get it. If you're thinking about it, get it. Get it. It's pretty durable too. I already dropped mine. Look at this shit. I dropped it. Yeah. I was trying to like, I was like breathing and shit. It was on my lap and I dropped it on the concrete. Thanks, nature. I love you though. I still love you. I love you guys too. All of you guys watching right now, I love you. Yeah, here's the tip of the phone. Headphone jack. Why is everyone like so crazy about the headphone jack right now? Like, it's, I'm not even mad. It's just funny to me because, yo, they got the Moto Z in their hands. A Moto Z, a phone that's got mods, a mod that you can use as a projector. And then they hear talking about that's missing a fucking headphone jack. You could be talking about so many things. They're taking a picture of the of them with the adapter. Like if you're already using wires, which is outdated, a couple more inches ain't, ain't gonna hurt you. 
like when I when I get my mom Bluetooth headphones, she was never going back to wired. When they broke, she was like, no, I need Bluetooth. I can't do it. No, like she refused. And she even went to like a crappy old Bluetooth rather than go back to like even a decent wire. So just get over it, man. You got that Moto Z. Show that off. But a little rant there. But being real with you guys. And remember, guys, we're all one race. It's all about love. Love each other. Love everything. Love the animals. Love the insects. Love nature. We got to get back to Mother Nature. All right. See you guys in the next one. I love you. Stay healthy.